Good morning! Um, we're here with Celine. You thought I'm not gonna show you, right? But you came already with your hair and makeup. Oh my, look. Glowing queen. Thanks. Okay, so today we're doing something fun. And by fun, it's like I'm going to make money. And I'll tell you how I'm gonna make money. Because I'm starting to go to my closet. I'm gonna clean up my closet. And there are things that I need to consign. Because these are beautiful, gorgeous things that I just don't give them enough love so i'm ready to pass it on to someone who will love them the way they deserve this is so poetic first i want to say a huge thank you to the real real for sponsoring this portion of the video so for those of you who don't know the real real is a resale marketplace and they sell all brands from gucci dior louis vuitton and it is up to 90 percent off retail if you follow me on instagram or tiktok you know how much i love the real real i am a big believer of resale of second hand of vintage like i personally love of looking for these gems across the internet and I always find amazing things on the real real I've also sold with the real real before and it's an amazing experience so first of all just like to make us feel better resale is such a great way to keep fashion out of landfills and it's just like a more sustainable way to shop there's also a lot of items and they sell really fast they have like over 28 million shoppers which is insane and it's the easiest thing because they have experts on site that are there to help you I'm gonna show you the whole process actually because the experience is great you bring your stuff and then they are taking it from there and then I'm gonna do what I do best look around and try to find some some things okay we got coffee we got food let's go gorgeous gorgeous Palm Beach okay we are here with Taylor hello uh, she is our consignment specialist and um, I'm gonna show you a little bit of how this whole thing goes. During drop off, we will document each item and you will receive a confirmation email and itemized packing slip when you complete. We price based on resale value, market trends, and then item conditions. These beauties I got um, last year and I was so excited to wear them, but I bought them so fast that I didn't even pay attention to the sizing. And by the time I realized that the size is a bit too small for me, I couldn't return them. <laughs> so literally worn once and then i have this uh farm rio dress that i just don't do it justice so i'm hoping the new owners will your consigned items will be listed on the trr site within 30 days of your drop off today mm -hmm. once your items sell you would receive payment on the 15th of the following month you would earn anywhere from 20 to 85 percent commission depending on the category of the items good luck in your new home i've loved you as much as i could <laughs> All right, and then are you shopping with us today? Yes, always. <laughs> what are you shopping for? I don't know. I feel like part of the whole experience of coming to the boutiques is to also always like discover, you we know, new things. To see. Yes. So I, I feel like I made money, so I'm gonna go spend it. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. I'm Philip, a real resale specialist for today. I walk you through the boutique. I love it. So it's like a curated corner of. Absolutely. Cool. Some pieces are vintage, some pieces are brand new from the 2022 collection. I would love to see the pink one. She's so pretty. You're so cute. This one is the Rose Alize 25 inch Birkin. It does include the box the dust bag yeah. and the rain jacket. Mm -hmm. Okay, so everything will be uh, listed yes, as- Yes, it's all listed from what it was consigned with. Yeah. It also lists the condition of it as well, which this one is excellent. Yeah. No visible signs of wear. It's pretty much like a, a Cinderella story where- the, If the shoe fits. If the shoe fits, it's yours. <laughs> Ooh, she's so cute. The Polly Pocket. It's literally brand new. This one yeah. would be the one you would like to drop? Yeah. They are brand new, actually. So no visible signs of wear, pristine condition, and they actually match your toenails. Look at her. <sighs> oh my god, they're so cute. Isn't it amazing how this trend of shoes came back? My mom used to wear them all the time. Do we love her? Also, my rule of thumb, whenever I secondhand shop, honestly anywhere, I never skip the men's section because why would you? There's so many gems out there, like especially with, you know, looser tops, button-ups, 
uh, sweaters. Very important thing to know. This is so cute. This and this made a decision. Winner, winner. Winner, winner, for sure. How close I am to be VIP. Almost there. Almost there. There we are, and you are all set. Yay! Thank you so My much. Pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I you. will see sure. you guys soon. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. And uh, made it back home. Got a little goodie for me. Very proud of myself. I feel like this time I invested in something that I wanted for a while and I'm so happy I found it. This is a diamond bangle and I just wanted to add it to my stack. This is a very wise investment if you ask me. Always so fun to go into the boutique and just see what they have and just go through them. And each boutique has like such different curations, which is really interesting. So um, I was really into the whole Palm Beach vibes over there. A lot of like straw bags, a lot of like summery things, uh, vacation things. So I really like that. They had some beautiful jewelry and some amazing bags. Still thinking about that baby pink, 25 centimeters Birkin. Just saying, it's right here but it will stay right there. Okay, and then we are done with our little consignment and shopping spree, and now it is time to roll up the sleeves and clean that closet out. Wish me luck. You're coming with me, so you're gonna help me, but wish us luck. I am so excited to dive into this mess of mine. As the seasons change, something that I like to do is to go into my closet and clean it out. I try to be very mindful of it, but there's things that we accumulate that don't necessarily serve us past a certain point. This is something that I like to do where I'll have like things for donation, uh, to sell like on the real real or other things to just move around. Like if I see something my girlfriend would like, I'll be like, okay, I'm not gonna wear it. This is for you. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Mazel Tov. As we know, we are getting to the end of summer and although I live in Miami, end of summer means nothing. I do dress seasonally. I also have a lot of travel ahead of me for work. So I am gonna be in places where seasons count, you know? And this also gives me anxiety. So the Virgo in me are just, just like Valeria. <laughs> I have like a very specific style and I prefer not to think too hard about what to wear because I got other things to think about. So let me show you what I look for in my forever items, okay? I do have my share of trousers and I honestly move around like thrifting them secondhand. Like I have no shame. I don't need everything new. And also the ones that I couldn't find, I made and I created. So these are actually trousers from Vary and this is a color that I was looking for, was trying to get something because I know this type of color will serve me from kind of the warmer months into the more seasonal like fall and winter and things like that like these trousers with maybe like a gray sweater Mwah. Mwah. love that for me and these serve me really well actually in Canada like in the winter you know I always had people being like how are your ankles exposed it's like minus 20 and I'm like you know what fashion is fashion I'm not letting this seasonality stuff hold me back. Also with jeans, I kind of have two different fits that work for me and I stick to them. Flared or straight are my go-tos. So like colored jeans are not necessarily my thing. So we'll definitely put that aside. I also look at items and ask myself like when did I wear it last? Like I had an idea for this one. This is a Zara sweater. No, it's H&M. But the idea never came to fruition. And instead of just like breaking my head and constantly looking at it being like, wow, I have never wear, worn it. I am going pass it on. Then I have my uh, bun downs. I have my whites. I have my yellows. I have our very colors that I really wanted to make sure I have on hand. Where are they? I don't know. Like they're very versatile. So definitely a forever items. And then for sweater wise, I keep it very casual and very simple. I love really good like fabric. This is cashmere. This is from Club Monaco. I've probably had it for like four or five years. And this always serves me. Again, forever pieces. Okay, things that are moving away from my closet. This sweater. 
This is a very hot color. It's literally hot pink. And I've noticed that although Valentino literally made their whole show around this color, I'm not loving it. This feels too trendy for me. Like I said, I love focusing on more neutrals. Uh, this is from Cos. This is a great little cardigan. And then I have things that I invest in, uh, like this striped sweater that actually should not be hanging because it will ruin the shape. I always have my share of uh, leather pants. These are uh, red ones that I bought from H&M a few years ago. This was actually a collaboration, I think, with Giambattista Valley. These are very specific, but honestly, they could easily be passed as like a vintage piece and I'm just not ready to let it go, especially in the colder months when I just want a little something extra but then something really subtle on top you are spared this i got on the real real this is from simon miller i'm really loving the yellows eh this a eh, a eh. this is a denim material and then we have this white shauna joy denim jacket and these are also just like a casual way to add another layer because that's what i love about the colder months the layering right we have this smite blazer had it for a couple of years now a great staple to invest in then i thrifted this black one been serving me so well and then we have our vary i have it also in pale blue so again just like ways to wear something and add a little you know this is actually a really fun romper that i got when i moved to miami because this is such a like great example of miami and like just the tropical weather it's a very like specific look you know like it's very vacation but I still love the print, so I'm gonna keep it. There's some prints here that I'm super happy with, like this I thrifted. And again, because of the color scheme, it's actually been working so well with my trousers, like the colors just flow. And that's what I find that I gravitate towards. When I do find prints that I like, I always make sure that the colors in them will work with some of the staples that I have in my closet, even if it's $10. I also think about is there utility for it in my closet and in my life because I don't want to just like become a hoarder, you know? This is also was my like, woo, we're in Miami, yay! What? I don't think I've ever worn them. You know when you have like a gut feeling, you're like, there's gonna come a day where this will make sense. So I'm just, this is the kind of stuff where I'm like, I'm waiting for that day because I don't want to try to hunt for something like this, you know? There's some pieces where you just, encounter you're like okay it's either now or never some other things i need to avoid because it's actually making me super annoyed are items like this like don't ask me why i was in greece like three years ago with my best friends from israel and i was like i need something you know like i need to get something from greece and there was this boutique in our hotel and i saw the skirt and i like liked the idea of it so i was like okay i'll get it and i got it have i ever worn it absolutely not it's basically a, like a cover-up skirt like if it had a print or something you know i would get it but this literally looked like a diy project it gives me sister wives it's time to go see this makes me sad literally a waste of money and for what for what for someone that lives in a warm climate uh things that i love to keep uh in mind are like easy super easy summer dresses out to wear these are especially great like in the mornings when i'm rushing and i need to do like drop off instead of like putting on sweatpants and feeling yucks i just throw like a really easy summer dress i literally i just walk through and just go right away here this is a really pretty dress i got this from revolve but the neck is way too low my boobies are just like out to play so i've never worn it it moves on let's share a little bit about luxury and affordable something to keep in mind like again for trends definitely i wouldn't say to invest in anything unless it's something that you truly see yourself wear and enjoy but i usually really focus on spending my money on like staples and items that i know i'll be wearing for a long time like the blazers like a really good pair of jeans when it comes to bags or shoes i buy a lot of my stuff like a lot of my shoes on the real real a trend that's coming back hard right are ballerina shoes i wanted quality but i didn't necessarily want to spend a lot of money so i went on the real real and i got these chanel they are secondhand they're actually vintage um, and i really like that they don't have a bow because the ones that you can buy like that you buy now in stores new are all with the bow and i just feel like 
it's not my thing so I found these I paid two hundred dollars like maybe a hundred and eighty dollars and they're in great condition I'm gonna seal them and I am beyond happy with them and this is like I pre I'm participating in a trend but in a trend that I feel like is here to stay for a little bit longer and then also you can get such great items like this is a python manolo blanek 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 shoes didn't want to spend the money but wanted a quality thing so just bought in a resale market this is also from the real Real actually there were maybe like two hundred dollars and you're getting great stuff so you can buy luxury but like more affordable i don't have an issue i actually love used shoes it's like a weird thing i have you want to keep in mind when you even go to the czars or h ms or uh, whatever other places you know you make sure that the fit is right because when the fit is right and it's like a color that's a bit more subtle i feel like it's easier to make it look expensive and it will also hold through the years and that's something to keep in mind right like even when i buy affordable i'm like what's the construction of the garment what's the fabric is it breathable will this like be ruined after one wash um you know is this something that will kind of stick through the time with me like let's say those mermaid green pants like no but i'll probably wear them once a year and maybe we'll hold on for like a few more years and then i'll ship it to the resale market to the second hand and let someone else party with them you know but th those are the things that i always like keep in mind i feel like in the last couple of years there has been such a great shift into like mindful shopping uh, and asking yourself the questions you know will this serve me when how long uh you know is this worth the investment or not so i always am like a huge advocate for that to be honest and even with our kind of things like with Varie I always try to get better and better into bringing that ethos into the design process and into like production and everything like that so wow this has been this has been a lot I don't think we got rid of too many things I actually threw a couple of things more down here now I have to actually do the cleaning and putting it together let me know if you enjoyed this video if you want to hear more you want to see more you need to tell me so I can deliver. Okay, love you. I'm gonna be Cinderella now. I'm gonna the mess that I made. Mm -hmm.